all right guys welcome back so in the last video we learned how to bounce off the balls using our paddles but what happens if a ball touches the screen of our window then the score is supposed to be increased because the ball has missed our paddles so what we are going to do is we are going to write the code that will say if the ball touches or bounces off the right or the left hand side then you're supposed to increase the score and we've also already written the code and we have already written the code for bouncing of the balls from the left hand side and the right hand side so we are just going to increase the score when the ball bounces off the edge of our screen so let's work on that so what we are going to do is we are going to go inside our pong paddle class and create a new variable of score and this is going to be a number so we are going to give it a numeric property with a default value of zero then we are going to go to our code where we have written the statements or the if conditions for bouncing off left and right and this is where we need to increase our score so this code will execute or this condition will be true when the ball bounces off the left hand side of our window and this statement will be true when the ball bounces off the right hand side of our window so we are going to break this if condition into two statements and then we are going to increase the score so this will be true if the player one misses and this will be true when the player two paddle misses so we're just gonna just remove the or over here and uh, we are going to write another if condition and we're going to copy and paste this because we also want the ball to change direction obviously and then we don't need these brackets so we can remove them from here and also from this if condition make sure everything is formatted properly all right so what we are going to do is now whenever a ball touches the left hand side so let's actually write another if condition or another comment over here not an if condition bounce off right so i'm just going to copy this and paste this over here bounce off right and i'm also just going to add and increase the score all right so what we are going to do is we are just going to write self dot player one and we need to increase the score of the player one that's why we are writing self dot player one and then we need to increase the score by writing plus equals to one so this will increase the score of player one by one and then we can just copy and paste the same over here but instead of player one we need to do it player two and now we need to hook up the score to our pong dot kv file so if you remember our zero and zero are being shown by these two labels that we created in our very first video i think so we need to change these labels from zero to what our score will be currently over here. So how we can change it, you can just write str. This is for changing anything that is over here. So over here, the number is going to be an integer, but we need to convert it into a string to show it on our game window. That is why we are writing str. This will convert the integer into a string or a number into a string. And then we can just write go root dot player one dot score. And then we can just copy and paste this into our second statement over here. And instead of player one, do player two. And then let's run our main.py file to see if it works. And let's reload it because the ball's trajectory is a little bit weird. It's again weird, so let's reload it. All right, so this one looks good. If we miss our ball, okay, we didn't miss this time. <laughs> Maybe I'm just too good at playing it. All right, so now when it's hitting the wall, then it's increasing the score by one. But actually the score is supposed to be increased in the opposite direction. So for example, the ball is going from here. And if this player misses, then the one score is supposed to be increased over here. So let's fix that. Let's go to pong.kv file. And instead of uh, player one over here, we're going to write player one. And instead of player one, we're going to write player two. And that should be good enough. So let's reload it and see if it works. Let's reload it again. The trajectory is weird. All right, so let's see if we can miss the ball. All right, so this uh, score is being increased instead of this one. So currently our Pong game is pretty complete. Obviously there are uh, like some bugs of uh, this game, but this course or this video series is not about game development. This is more about Kiwi. And I think we have covered the basics of game development using Kiwi. Uh, pretty well. So what we are going to do in the next video is that we are going to convert this desktop application into an Android application. And if you find any kind of bugs, feel free to like fix them yourself. I'm pretty sure you have enough information with what we have talked about to fix it yourself. But if you can't, feel free to add it in the description or anywhere you want and uh, I'll try to answer it as best as I can. Anyways guys, this is pretty much it for this video. I'll see you in the next one where we'll be converting this desktop application into an Android application. So yeah, I'll see you over there.